I'm so happy to be here today as we begin our journey as Oracle Cerner. We're coming together with our combined strengths to really leverage and make changes in how health can happen. Together, we can connect the provider and the patient to that broad ecosystem that we spoke about. And everything that Larry articulate of the future begins with the foundation of the electronic health record. And as you've heard, the EHRs have been around for decades. Um, we've been evolving them to improve, and Cerner has been leading that innovation for years. And in most parts of the world, we've completely eliminated the paper record, and we've digitized most of the complex clinical workflows. But as you've heard, digitizing the record is just the beginning. And we, f we firmly believe that the full value of the EHR comes when we can transform it from that system for documenting and billing to a tool that reduces the complexity of healthcare and becomes the single source of information, the complete source of information for a person's healthcare. It should change how care is provided. Leveraging data and advanced technologies like AI and prioritizing human-centric experiences, we can make healthcare more proactive, more accessible, and more equitable. When we think about healthcare, at the end of the day, it all begins with us as individuals. As consumers, we're all going to have to interact with that healthcare system. And it when we do, it should be easy and convenient, and it should give us choice and control. As Stephanie said, you want it to be as simple as finding a sweater and doing online shopping. At Oracle Cerner, we've been advancing those core EHR capabilities to engage the consumer, to give them the ability to manage how and access they care, how they access care, and provide them the touch points throughout their care. So if you think about it, I today could get notification during Breast Cancer Month that it's time for a mammogram. With a click, I can schedule my appointment, I can pick the place and time I want to get care, and prior to arriving, I'm gonna get a text reminder telling me when my time is, just like I get for my hair appointment, but it's also gonna give me information about what to be prepared for at check-in. After I have my mammogram, I'm gonna to continue to get notifications telling me it's time to see your results, and by the way, you can go look at your bill, and you can pay that bill. Might not be right, but you can go pay it. Uh, <laughs> It's that kind of experience that we've all come to expect. And as we come together, as you, know, you heard from Mike, we're gonna be able to advance that experience and drive more usability to the consumer and increase content and access to information. Equally important to the consumer experience is that experience we all have the day we're sitting in an exam room with a nurse or a physician. That's the day we become patients. And as patients, what we want is we want a personal experience. We want to feel like the people that are taking care of us know us. We don't wanna to have to answer the same question over and over and over again. We wanna feel like the physician that's taking care of us has information about me. They should know things like, I'm vaccinated, I have a history of high blood pressure. Oh, and I just had an MRI for neck pain. I shouldn't have to tell him that. I should feel comfortable enough with him and he should be in a position to have a meaningful, informative conversation with me. Likewise, that caregiver, those physicians and nurses, they do not wanna be tethered to their computer. That is not what they went into practice for. They wanna be able to provide high quality care to the patients they serve. The EHR should be that tool. It should have all the information needed to provide the best care, giving insights on information and proactively and intuitively provide information. At the end of the day, the EHR should assist, not burden the physicians. It should equip, equip them to have that information and those insights to give back time with context to have that meaningful conversation that we all wanna have when we're experiencing healthcare. At Oracle Cerner, we're committed to delivering those experiences, and that includes giving the clinicians 
a comprehensive and complete view of the patient's health history. Larry gave some examples of getting care in different parts of the world. When I think about it personally, I think about my father who spent his winters in Florida, but his cardiologist and primary care doctor were in Pennsylvania. If anything was going to happen to him in Florida, I wanted to know that those doctors would have access to his records. Patients should not have to carry their records around. They should not have to have CDs as they show up at their doctors. The doctors should have that information easily and accessible. And the way we do that is by exchanging that information. And at Cerner, Oracle Cerner, we have long championed the concept and capabilities of interoperability. In fact, we've established a leading health alliance um, that connects today over 160 million lives. That's patient data being exchanged globally. In fact, as an example, the NHS today, we connect 9 million people in East London to share that data for a unified record. But if we really want to make a difference, it's not just about the individual patient. It is really about using data to understand and manage conditions across populations and communities. We can do this with the ability to take the large data sets that we have, stratify them, understand the patterns and trends across a community, and really drive meaningful, equitable care. An example of this would be, I think most people understand there's a correlation between uh, diabetes and blindness. And in fact, diabetic retinopathy can limit your, your, vis your vision, but it actually can cause total blindness. In 90% of the cases, it can be treated and prevented if you have an annual eye exam. With the use of Cerner's data products, One Health System today is managing an important gap in care across their population, diabetic patients who are missing their annual eye exam. What we've been able to do by accessing the large data sets and registries of clinical information is identify those patients who have not shown up for an annual exam and then send off a trigger to a care manager. That care manager can then reach out to that patient and query what's, what's the obstacle to coming in for an eye exam? Is it location? Do you actually need a ride? Do I need to get a caseworker involved? And pull in that, that patient to get that exam. In this case, they've been able to drive up their percentages of compliance, and which is ultimately improving wellness across their whole diabetic population. This is just an example of the types of things you can do with large data to control diseases across populations. Thinking about our opportunity moving forward in this picture, where we can really connect our collective work to drive human-centric care. Together, as Oracle Cerner, we bring all the pieces together and we can accelerate that transformation of that EHR tool that's burdening to really being the enabler that's open, intuitive, agnostic platform that connects patients, providers, payers, and populations in a meaningful way. As Oracle Cerner, we are uniquely positioned to do this because we've got the power of Oracle, we've got technology, we've got the cloud, and we've got a proven portfolio of healthcare capabilities that we can pull together and extend our proven foundation of provider applications this is something no other healthcare vendor, no other EHR vendor on the planet can do. We're going to see the ability to advance technology like artificial intelligence, we've talked about that, voice enablement, so that a physician can actually have a patient conversation and that complex clinical information is captured automatically. And so clinical notes are being written without the, the physician having to engage with the computer. We'll be able to extend that access, as Mike talked about, to the payers. When we do that, not only will we eliminate the friction between patients and providers, but we'll be able to give better transpa transparency of the cost of care to the provider as well as to the patient. And the ability to impact margins for providers is phenomenal. That big problem, big numbers, drive those numbers down. Additionally, we'll connect the patient data that creates the ability to take what today is episodic records. It's all based on where you had your last moment of care. 
but take all those points of care, regardless of where it was, and connect them to truly create, create that lifetime clinical record that's accessible to care teams and to patients. As Oracle Cerner, we're already working together to quickly introduce a new simplified user experience for clinicians and for consumers. We'll bring together more meaningful insights in a crisp, easy to navigate manner. Together as Oracle Cerner, we are so excited to leverage our technology, innovation, and expertise to address the challenges of today. We're going to work together to deliver a unified system that's based on longitudinal data and is broadly accessible and oriented to the individual. It's this work that I think I'm speaking for all of the associates across the Cerner, Oracle Cerner population that makes us so excited to join this great vision because we believe we truly can change how healthcare is delivered.